how to create a radial gradient in Critter. The key tool here is the gradient tool. Select the gradient tool, you can find it in the toolbar, and then go and select a gradient. Right at the top, you've got a whole range of different gradients in that panel, so you can just select any of them. You can also add and edit your own gradients as well. Now the key thing for this tutorial is that to create a radial gradient, and the thing is, go over to the settings, and just go over there, settings, you can see, settings, and dockers, and just go down to tool options. That's the key one there. So once you've got that, what you can do, you can go over to the tool options, I've actually got the panel already displayed, and you can see shape, and I've got linear, bilinear, and radial. That's the key one, radial. So select that radial, and you've also got options for the repeating, alternating, etc. So I'm just going to go for none at first. So just drag it out slightly, and that's the full length of the gradient. Oh, I've actually, there's also an option over there for reverse. I've actually got that in reverse, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, and you can see now that goes, that's the full gradient. It goes from the very dark to the lighter brown. And you can just extend it out. Now, if you go for, I'm just going to go for another gradient now. I'm just going to select that. You can just see that. And again, you can see all the colours of that gradient in the panel. See there. Now, radial for the shape and none there. Now, I'm going to go for forwards. Now, what that does, just if you drag that out again for the full length of the gradient there, but you can see it just goes from the start point to the end, start point to the end, start point to the end. So there's always that really sharp divide, unless you get the colour scheme exactly right. You can also go for alternating. I'll show you that. So again, you can see. Now, if you extend it out the... So if you do a very, very short length, you'll actually get lots and lots and lots of gradients repeated over and again, start end, start end, start end, start end, and all those sort of things. Just go there. So you can just, obviously the further you get, if you make it bigger, you'll actually get less of those start end, start end, all the way through. Alternating, personally, I find that much nicer. So what it does, it goes start, end, end, start, and so on and so on. So you just go through a, a nice sort of flow. So you actually don't get that. So, and again, you can do exactly the same, just a very, very short length, and you get lots and lots of those repeats throughout the actual gradient. And again, I'm just going to change the gradient there. I'm just going to go for Now, this one's got a bit of transparency in it, so you can actually see through it. You can actually see the previous there. And again, you can just use in the radial and the none option. If I go for forward or alternating, so alternating there, you can see that repeated. So you go from start, end, end, start, etc. So you go through it, and you can create, obviously, multiple gradients very quickly using that technique. And again, you can change things such as opacity as well. You can use blending modes to apply that radial gradient as well. So you can create some really interesting designs just by simply changing the opacity as well as changing the blending modes. And there's a whole range of different blending modes available to Critter for your radial gradient. Now, just going to... There, radial and alternating, just go and change another gradient, go and select a different one. Now select one of the green ones and again you can apply that and you can see the design very quickly. Again, go to another one, select that and you can just see again radio and you can see the repeated alternating or none, you can just apply just one, just create that. Hope you found this of interest, thank you much.